Hello and welcome to another Blender know-how tutorial. In this video we're going to be going over lists. A little bit of what they are and how we can use them. So let's go to the scripting tab here and I'm just going to be working within the console. So let's make this a little bit bigger. We aren't going to be using much of this, if any of it. And we're just going to be um, just looking at lists and how we can use them. So first off, let's start off by making a list. Um, you can honestly think of anything that you'd like. Maybe you can just think of objects, uh, my objects, and uh, just looking at my stuff on my keyboard or on my uh, my desk. I'm going to list some of the things that are on my desk currently and you can do something similar as well. So I'm just going to list my objects and if you want to list things you just say equals to and then lit to list them you just put an open bracket and uh, let's just do strings. So this or this both mean a string in Python and I'm going to put uh, my keyboard is on my desk. My mouse is on my desk and I have a phone on my desk as well. And we can end our list of objects just like that. We enter and now my objects is a list. And if you just type it out, it will list it. You can also list things by just typing list and do my objects like that. They print out the same thing, but sometimes as you're working within Blender, they won't actually list things out because often they can have huge lists, and so you would have to type out list and put your object in there. And so that can be really neat. Uh, there are some other cool things that you can do with it. Uh, let's just say you want to. What was the first? object that I put in to my list. You can just type in Okay, well, you can see I just sped past some of that, but uh, you can see that I things have to be typed out correctly, and uh, sometimes you'll look stupid if you're doing something like this and you go through all these errors, and it's just because you realize that you did my objects, not my object. So make sure you type in your things correctly. Um, so it should be my objects at my first object which is zero because we start at zero is keyboard and that was the first object that I typed in um, so hopefully you don't make the same uh, mistakes that I do which you probably will just it's a thing that happens uh, you just mistype because uh, we're human so I left that up there because sometimes you're just frustrated and be like I, this maybe this actually isn't how it works because I, I was doubting I was like wait Maybe you can't actually do that. So I started typing in different um, ways of calling it, like in different languages that I have learned in the past. And uh, no, it, it is the way I was thinking. So you can just do my objects and then brackets. And 0 being 1, 1 being uh, 2, and so forth. It's just. Uh, take whatever number you want and subtract one, pretty much. Uh, hopefully this has been a little bit of an educational listing video. Nothing too complicated, but lists are you are way awesome. They're something you should use all the time, and Blender does use them all the time. Um, 
the most common one I can think of is bpy.data.objects. Uh, it has a collection of three items. So now we can just say bpy.objects at zero. What is our object there? It's our camera. And what's, it, what's our first object? Well, it's a cube. Or our, I guess our second object, it's our cube. And we can use that. Uh, so these are these are really powerful. It's not just for strings. It's not just for integers. It's for everything. You can create any kind of object and place it within a list. Uh, good luck with your list. Good luck with Blender and Python. And we will see you next time on Blender Know How.